And welcome back to Real Ag Radio. It's now time for a product spotlight with FMC. Our guest right now is Jordan Brizwa. Jordan, welcome to the show. Hey, Sean. Thanks for having me on. It's always good to chat with you. Absolutely. Okay, so big news here. I, I understand you've got a new label announcement uh, when it comes to authority. Yeah, we do. Actually, we just announced last week. We've been doing work here for the last number of years on our Authority 480 herbicide, Authority Supreme herbicide, and Precision Pack SZ75 herbicide. And we are really excited to announce that we have received the fall registration, so fall application timing for all three of those really key brands for us. So we were really excited to launch that to the to the team last week, and uh, word's obviously been getting out. So a really big uh, label addition for us. Okay, that's that's congratulations. That that's great news. Let's talk about kochia. It's a weed that is really, really dominating a lot of the conversation across the Western Canadian prairies. It's also finding its way into new areas. Of course, weed resistance comes into this discussion as well. How can growers manage this weed? Yeah, so great, great question, Sean. I think it was really interesting for us. We had Doctor uh, Geddes come on and do a preschool webinar, you know, for our company based around kochia, and he was really talking about how you know, changes in our environment are pushing kochia into new areas and, and growers not maybe in some of those areas, not knowing enough about the, the weed and how, you know, prolific it can be and where Authority 480 herbicide comes in in particular. Um, it provides that nice uh, soil barrier where it helps, you know, stop the weed from coming up. It lowers those populations. Um, it's a really important part of the resistance management strategy. Certainly not the only thing growers can be doing. Lots of great options like crop rotation, et cetera. But uh, from a herbicide perspective, it's, you know, in my opinion, uh, probably the best one out there. So uh, I think really, really important for growers to get it down, get it out early, uh, stop those weeds from coming up. So, you know, there's, you know, it helps with other things that can manage that, that weed as well. So uh, Authority 480 Herbicide, it received registration for use on spring weed in Durham in 2020. How does this registration help growers build a, a multi-year weed management plan, especially if kochia is a problem in their fields? So this was a really important registration for us a couple of years ago. And just in the last season or two, growers are really gravitating to this for you know a couple of really important reasons. But I would say the first one is the herbicide layering strategy that it helps with. So you can imagine if a grower, you know, puts down their glyphosate and, and authority 480 herbicide, which is, you know, of course, a group 14, then they can go in crop to help manage, let's say, a weed like kochia or other weeds with, you know, other products that work really well that might have group twos or group fours. So we're really, it's all about, you know, mixing those groups up as part of that you know, integrated strategy to help manage kochia, which again is such a prolific and, and awful weed for growers to have to, to deal with. Yeah, it, that's an understatement. Uh, Authority 480 herbicide has a very good track record. Where does it fit in these uh, weed management plans? <clears throat> So for us, I mean, now we have multiple application timings. So what that does for growers is it, it gives them some flexibility when they want to put it down, they can put it down in the fall, maybe help, you know, create some time and opportunity for them to do other things in the spring, which, you know, we of course know is very busy. You know, it also, that fall application timing maximizes the chance of consistent performance. And Authority 480 for us has traditionally been a very high performing product. If you guys, if you, if any growers go onto our website, we actually started procuring product reviews from growers that have used it in the past, and the product reviews on our website are overwhelmingly positive. Um, so it performs really well, and I think at the heart of things, you know, resistance management really important. But I think growers just want something that performs, and uh, this product really does that. Uh, whether it's you know fall, spring application, it it's a true performer in our books. Now, you mentioned the website. Uh, if somebody wants more information, how do they find it? Uh, I mean, obviously, any Google search will bring it up. We'll we'll be at the top if you're looking for Authority 480 Herbicide. But uh, ag.fmccanada.ca, I believe, is our, our website. So uh, go in there. You can get into our products. And when you when you go in, you'll see reviews. I, I don't know exactly how many we have on Authority 480 Herbicide in particular, but um, it's a pretty significant number. So there's, you know, I would always say there's, there's some merit in that data when uh, enough people are talking about it in that light. So, And of course, you can talk to your local FMC uh, representative or your local dealer as well. Hey, Jordan, thanks so much for joining us here today. Really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, Sean. Really appreciate you having me on.
We'll be right back on Real Life Radio right after this.